In this video, you'll learn how to draw straight, angled, curved, and freehand lines and animate them in DaVinci Resolve. I'll create a fusion composition and drop it on the timeline. With the playhead over to clip, I'll go into fusion. I'll add a paint node and connect it to the media out node. The paint node needs a canvas to paint on. This canvas connects to its yellow input. I'll use a background node to serve as the canvas. For a transparent background, set the alpha slider to zero. I'll use a colored background. I'll select the paint node. In the Viewer 1 toolbar, I'll select the Polyline Stroke tool. Holding down the Shift key, I'll lay down two points with the mouse. Holding down Shift creates a perfectly straight line. To draw angled lines, continue to hold the Shift key down while laying down additional points with the mouse. When finished, click the Done button on the toolbar to prevent accidental changes to the line. In the Inspector, you can easily change line color. Under the Brush Control section, Brush Properties can be changed. And under Stroke Controls, you can do simple animation using the Right On parameter. Place the playhead where you'd like the animation to begin. I'll place it at the beginning of the clip by pressing Command Left Arrow, Control Left Arrow in Windows. Set end to zero using the slider or by typing directly in the edit field. Set the keyframe. Place the playhead where you'd like the animation to end. I'll press Command Right Arrow, Control Right Arrow in Windows to move the playhead to the end of the clip. Set end to one. A keyframe is automatically added. And there's a simple animation. To create a dotted line, just increase spacing. You may want to go into brush controls to change the shape and softness of the brush. To use a value greater than one for spacing, just type the value into the edit field. To refine the animation, open the Spline Editor. Enable the spline for the polyline stroke points of the paint node only. Select all the points and click the Smooth button on the toolbar to add easing. I'll place the playhead over to clip and head into Fusion. The media in node is selected, so I'll add a paint node by clicking its icon in the node editor toolbar. Ensure the paint node is selected. In the viewer one toolbar, select the polyline stroke tool. Click the mouse to lay down the first point. For subsequent points, click the mouse, but don't release it. Hold it down. Two bars will appear, allowing you to shape the line. I'll zoom in by pressing the plus sign key so you can see better. When done shaping the line, release the mouse. Lay down the remaining points in the same way. When the line is complete, click the Modify Only button on the toolbar. 
Now you can refine the shape of the line. Click on either end of the line to show the line points if they're not visible. Clicking on any point will reveal the curvature handles. I'll zoom in. By default, the line on both sides of the point is affected by the handles. To affect only one side of a point, hold down the Command key, Control key in Windows, and adjust the handle. When you're happy with the shape of the line, click the Done button on the toolbar to prevent further changes. As before, you can adjust color, brush properties, and spacing to create a dotted or solid line. To animate the line, place the playhead where you'd like the animation to begin and keyframe the right on field. Set end to zero using the slider or by typing directly in the edit field. Now place the playhead where the animation is to end and set end to one. And there it is. To refine the animation, go into the spline editor. Enable the spline for the paint node polyline stroke points only. Click the Zoom to Fit button. Select all the points. Right-click in the graph, select Ease, and choose one of the options. I'll use In-Out Cubic. I'll use a still for this example. I'll place the playhead over the clip and head into Fusion. Add a paint node. Select the Stroke tool. Change brush shape, size, and color if you wish. Draw the line. At the top of the inspector, click the Modifiers tab. Click on Stroke 1 at the top. Now click the Tools tab at the top. Open the Stroke Control section at the bottom. Click the Make Editable button. Now you can adjust color, brush shape, spacing, and animate the line. To animate, place the playhead where the animation is to begin and keyframe the right on field. Set end to zero. Move the playhead to where the animation should end and set end to one. You can add easing to refine the animation by using the spline editor. Here I've drawn a line using the Polyline Stroke tool. We'll turn this into an animated line with a leading arrowhead. This approach will work for any line drawn using the Polyline Stroke tool, so you can use this approach for straight and angled lines as well. First, animate the line using the Right On field. At the bottom where it says right click here for shape animation, right click and choose publish from the menu. This will allow us to connect a graphic image to the line animation, in this case an arrowhead. I'll use a vector shape node to create the arrowhead. First I'll add an S and gone node by pressing shift spacebar. I'll attach it to an S render node. And I'll attach the S render node to the output of the paint node to automatically create a merge node. 
Now select the Yes Ngon node. Set size to 3 to create a triangle. Use the width and height fields to shape the triangle. I'll click on the Style tab and set its color to the same color as the line by click-dragging the eyedropper. I'll select the Merge node and size the arrowhead using the Size field. Now to connect the arrowhead to the animated line. First, right-click on the center label and select Path from the menu. Now click on the Modifiers tab at the top. Right-click where it says right-click here for Shape Animation and select Connect to Polyline Stroke 1 Polyline Value. That has placed the arrowhead at the beginning of the line. Now double-click on Path 1 to expand it. Remove the keyframe from the Displacement field and move the playhead to where the animation begins. In this case, it's the start of the clip. Keyframe the Displacement field and then move the playhead to where the animation ends. For this example, it's the end of the clip. Move the displacement slider to the right so that the arrow is placed at the end of the line. Playing the animation, we see that the arrowhead is following the line, but it's not oriented correctly. To adjust its orientation, click on the Tools tab. Right-click on the Angle label and choose Connect to Path 1 Heading. Now the arrowhead's orientation is correct. Notice that the arrowhead sometimes gets ahead of or behind the line. To fix that, click on the Modifiers tab. Whenever you see the arrowhead get ahead or behind the line, stop playback and adjust the displacement field. A keyframe will be added, but leave it be. It's okay. I've drawn a freehand line using the Stroke tool. We'll add a butterfly to the end of the line, but before doing that we need to animate the line. With the Paint node selected, click on the Modifiers tab at the top. Click on Stroke 1. Click on the Tools tab and expand the Stroke Controls section at the bottom. Click the Make Editable button. Place the playhead where the animation is to begin. Keyframe the Right On field and set End to 0. Now place the playhead where the animation should end and set end to 1. Right-click where it says right-click here for Shape Animation and select Publish from the menu. Now right-click on the center label and also select Publish from the menu. I'll bring down the butterfly from the media pool. It's a PNG file. I'll change its name to Butterfly. I'll add a Transform node. And I'll connect the Transform node to the output of the Paint node. I'll use the Size field in the Transform node to adjust the size of the Butterfly. To connect the Butterfly to the animated line, first select the Merge node. In the Inspector, right-click on the Center Label and select Path from the menu. Now click the Modifiers tab at the top. Right-click at the bottom where it says right-click here for Shape Animation and choose Connect to Stroke 1 Polyline Value. The path is correct, but not aligned. Double-click on Path 1 at the top to expand it. Right-click on the Center Label and choose Connect to Stroke 1 Center. Double-click on Path 1 again to expand it. Remove the keyframe from the Displacement field. 
Place the playhead where the animation begins and keyframe the field. Now place the playhead where the animation ends and adjust the displacement slider so the butterfly is at the end of the line. To orient the butterfly, click on the Tools tab at the top. Right-click on the Angle label and select Connect to Path 1 heading. It's still not quite right. Select the Transform node and adjust the Angle field. The butterfly may sometimes get a head over behind the line. To fix it, select the Merge node. Click on the Modifiers tab. Whenever the butterfly gets ahead or behind the line, stop playback and adjust the displacement field. Here's a trick. Select the Paint node. Set Opacity under Apply Controls to zero. Now you just have a butterfly flying about. Animation can be jittery with a freehand line. Setting spacing to zero before drawing the line helps reduce jitter. Thank you for watching.